finds a rare lizard with a special defense mechanism. I'm a dull girl lizard. Now you can imagine if you're a snake, one of the venomous snakes like a Cape Cobra, they would try and eat one of these. We'll come along, try and catch him, and what he will do is he'll bite into a ball. This doesn't make for a delicious treat. Very rough, hard spikes. So I've seen this with my own eyes, where a Cape Cobra would come and try and grab one of these lizards. And as soon as they bite onto their tail, and the snake tries to find a place to swallow it, he pushes, he pushes, and then the lizard will roll, and roll down the hill and disappear into a crack. So one of the truly most amazing evolutionary traits for lizards to have evolved this capability to use their rough scales like this, to bite onto a tail and then actually roll out of harm's way. It's just one of the most wonders of this planet. How spectacular is that? Look at the tongue coming out, flickering with the tongue, smiling, smiling. Still just want to jump into the water. Look at that. Incredible. Young water monitor lizard. Now these are lizards are famous for killing venomous snakes. They've got a semi-immunity to the venom of even snakes as deadly as cobras, mambas. And they will tackle and overpower and eat just about anything that moves along these waterways. Africa's largest growing lizard. And they can live comfortably for up to 15, 20 years. So you can imagine when this lizard's fully grown, like 10, 12 years of age, he can be easily 1.5 to 1.8 meters in length. You can see that flat tail used to swim in the water, used to propel him through the water. He just wants to go back into the water. But he's settling nicely now in my hand. If I come close here, you'll see he'll open the mouth, warn me. Now, the next thing is, once they're inflating the throat and the biting, and he hasn't been able to get into the water, what is his next step? He's going to play dead. So when I expose the underside, look at this. When I expose his underside very gently, just so he thinks he's been exposed, look at this. His tongue is still coming up and now his heart rate slowing down. Look at that. Playing absolutely dead, even sucking in the air to make him look even more dead. Look at that, incredible. Why do they do this? Why do they play dead? Why do they go into the state of thanatosis? Because the underside is unprotected. He's got ribs and scales on the back, but underneath, once this is exposed, then he's very soft. It's actually soft, soft skin. So he knows he's very vulnerable now. I'm a big predator. I've overpowered him. And now he's been, look at how he's sucking in the air in his throat to make him look absolutely dead. It's incredible how well they play dead. It's just amazing. Look at that. Even turning the head a bit to the side. But. His eyes are still open. Now remember, lizards have eyelids. So he's not completely dead. He's still watching what's going on. So it's almost an Oscar nominated performance. But I can still see. Look, he's looking at me. Look at that. Uh -uh. <laughs> so if I put my finger or something close to it, whoop, he'll bite. And I would be bleeding all over the place. Yeah, it's a really, really nasty bite. And incredibly powerful as well. So even at a small lizard at this size, still not an enjoyable experience. If I flip him over, I'm going to put him on the rock here before I put him down in the water and you'll see how he wakes up. Look at this. Tickle him a bit on the back. He can wake up. Look at that. He can, hey, he's waking up again. You see the breathing is back to normal. He's like, hey, what's going on here? Look at that. A little bit of a scratch. Wow. You're all right, you're all right. Hey, nah. Oh, wow. The wrinkles. Their name means ringed around the collar. Females of the species give birth to live young and are therefore not classified as true cobras. Though like cobras, the wrinkles will spread its hood and may spit venom when threatened. However impressive this may seem, this snake best performs when all its aggressive avenues have been exhausted.
As a last resort, to prevent being eaten, it plays dead. This stellar display should not be taken lightly. Even when visibly incapacitated, it can bite if disturbed any more. Feeding predominantly on frogs and toads, they can often be found around water. I can see it clearly. I'm not going to get any closer before I put on some goggles. Otherwise, it's going to spray me with venom. I'm at about three meters now. He could spray me. And very easy to identify quickly. I can see the band and marks across the body and that cobra-shaped head. Even though the runcos is not a true cobra because it gives birth to live babies instead of laying eggs, it still makes a big broad hood and it can spray venom up to two and a half meters quite accurately. But the difference between a runcos and say a Mozambique spitting cobra is the Mozambique spitting cobra can spray while it's not in hood formation, but the runcos has to stand up to spray its venom. It's actually under the water, under this old piece of rotten sheet of metal. God, I got the tail here. Yo, look at this, I got him. Famous for spraying, so let's see if I put him down what he's gonna do. Yo. Yo, he just sprayed me. Oh no. Got a good, good dose in the mouth there. The venom is not dangerous in the mouth. Only if you have something like a stomach ulcer. But in the eyes, incredible burning sensation. You can go blind if you don't treat it. Look how tall this wrinkles is standing. Wow. If I get any closer, he's gonna try and spray me again. He's gonna drop the hood forward like that and he'll spray venom. Look at that, yo! Yo! Oh, sprayed me again! Yo! They normally aim for the eyes, but he's getting me a nice dose into my, into my mouth. Yo, he's standing so tall. Yo, look at how alert he is. What a spectacular snake this room causes. Look at that display. It's half his body length off the ground. Only give me a little spray every now and then if I get too close. Yo. If I put, oh, sprayed me again. Now what I'm going to try and do, if his spraying doesn't work, and his hood doesn't work, and he plays dead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand on the back of his head. Look how weary he is. What a snake. Oh, I'm spraying at my shoes. What a spectacular snake. They come and hunt, yo, they come here to hunt frogs. They'll eat rodents, frogs, even sometimes other snakes. But uh, there's a lot of frogs around here and that's obviously what he's come to hunt. And he's not allowing me near his head. Look how wary he is. Yo! Oh, that speed, that awareness. Such a fast snake. Look at the touch. Look at that. Just a touch. He rolls over. He plays dead. Look at this. Right here in the mud. Touch him there. 
Mouth will open. Look at that. The mouth's open. He's dead. Dead snake. I can still feel his heart beating. But to all purposes, he's dead now. How incredible is that? Just one touch. Nothing more. Just picked him up mid-body and he's out. He can't help it. It's just that instinct that kicks in. And the Runkles is famous for this reaction. The ultimate in thanatosis. They're the best at playing dead. They even secrete a foul smell. It smells like something that's dead and rotten. And what does something do when they're dead? They lie upside down and their mouth goes open. And look at this. The mouth goes open. Look at that. Look at that. Incredible. I'm going to put them in the water. Look at that. Incredible.